A Raleigh man saw the horror at a Jacksonville video game tournament unfold in his own living room. Two people were killed and several others injured before the gunman took his own life. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer talked with local gamers about the tragedy and their take on the inside world of esports competitions. Zach. Well, money, bragging rights, and fans are reasons players we talked with say why they get into the game, even having the chance to play in tournaments to win millions of dollars. And they say hearing something that happened in Jacksonville was a shock in a highly competitive environment. On play action, is he home? Is it a fire one deep Everybody wants to be the champion. In his Raleigh home, Justin Gregory competes with other Madden players online. So you can end up playing against 10 different people, somebody in Miami, somebody in, you know, uh, Canada. You can end up playing against anybody in the world. And tunes in to watch professional tournaments. It gets you hyped even when you're not playing because it comes, usually comes down to the last second. But a recent tournament in Jacksonville where a deadly shooting took place left him shocked. Yeah, I'm pretty sure anybody else too. If you, we could erase that day, we would definitely erase that day happening. Even what he saw streamed from the tournament. And then the next thing you know, uh, you see a red dot go across his chest, um, and then you hear about at least eight to ten gunshots, and you just see the stream go off. I've been to like close to a hundred tournaments for so far. Nothing like this has ever happened. The same goes for Sam Sosali, who's competed in professional video game tournaments all over the world for lots of money. The pot was around. 26 million, I think. An environment he says that could be high stakes and high pressure. It's uh, a lot of stress, a lot of things on the line. One mouse click can lead the difference between you winning the game or losing the game. After Jacksonville, he and Gregory hope to see security on par at all events. It's just a game. Uh, at the end of the day, you don't want someone's life taken over a game. So Sally also mentioned that tournaments where he and others have competed, they have their own security detail, checking fans and players. Electronic Arts, the parent company of the Madden football game, released a statement saying they'll be canceling the remaining Madden qualifying events and review safety protocols for tournaments.